Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar and a C harmonica. This is a uh, blues harp by Honer. So I'm going to let it sit right there. This is Helpless. Song is in the key of C. In the live video where Neil plays with the group, the band. Okay, so that's where I culled this from. And uh, I believe on the album it's in D, and I don't know anybody that can sing it in D except Neil or, um, or gals that are really, really low sopranos or really high tenors. So uh, here we go, in C. There is a town in North Ontario With dream, comfort, and memory to spare In my mind, I still need a place to go. All my changes were there. I'm going to skip the second verse and go right into Helpless. Helpless, helpless. This is the whole song. C G. song. It's a circle song. Just circles through the chords and repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats. So C, G, and F, and it just keeps going around in a circle. So what do we got going on? Three strings, G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are the gauges. These are wound electric guitar strings. I'm playing through a Roland uh, mini cube, and I'll show you those settings at the end of this video. So at the nut, we have open G. First chord, G sharp, then A, B flat on the dot, B, C on the dot, C sharp, and D on the dot. So we're in C. That's the fifth fret, and that's a bar chord right here. B A R R E, just like it says over here. And it's five, five, five. And the best way to grab a bar chord if you're new is to get your finger across, get your thumb behind it, and then turn your finger a little bit towards the flat end of your finger as opposed to the bent end or the wobbly way here. So just put your finger on there and just twist a little bit, right? And that makes it easier to grab that chord. So there's C. G, I want you to play it this way. I want you to take your finger from C and I want you to hinge down so that you're on that fifth fret of the D string, just like there where it's wiggling. And I want your finger right there. And I want you to hinge back, and I want to put your third finger on the D, and you can see a dot there, and your pinky here on this D. And it looks like this. It's what it looks like from here. And from the top, it looks like seven, five, seven. Seven, five, seven. There's that shape. That's a G chord. Then I want you to move down the neck two frets, G, F sharp, and F. So I want you to move to F. So C, hinge, get yourself to G, and then jump or slide. I'd rather you slide two frets to F. Slide back up to C. C, G, F. C, G, F. C, two strums. G, two strums. F, four strums. song. So, that's in C. 
if you wanted to play along with the album, it's in D. So we're here on C, and what we're going to do is just take that finger and go C sharp and D. Now we're on D. We're on the seventh fret, seven, seven, seven. And all we're going to do is go helpless, helpless. Our fingers make the same chord, except they a different name. The shape is the same. D, A, G. D, A, G. D is too high for me, so I'm going to go back to C. There we go. C, G, F. Okay? So, I have this harmonica here, and I wanted to show you something. So, people ask, oh, how can you play harmonica and play guitar at the same time? It's like singing. So, think of playing a harmonica as singing. So, all you're doing is blowing some notes through your teeth, okay? Just like speaking. So, if I go, ah. That's all I'm trying to do with the harmonica, okay? I happen to know that in C, the fourth hole, okay? If I'm looking at it, it says one, two, three, four, and you can see that, I don't know if you can, where it says one, two, three, four. That fourth hole is a C. So when I look at it here, That fourth hole is a C. So I remember where that C is. And I just keep playing that C. Until I feel comfortable moving around. So, C, G, same hole, except I'm not blowing in it, I'm sucking in it. So blow. C, that's for the G, and the F, blow back again on C. So you're going, that's it. And then as you fool around and meander around your harmonica, get back to the C as best you can. And learning to meander around the harmonica using just your just blowing and sucking is all this instrument does. It's all you do is blow and suck. Okay? So play around with it. It's very fun to do. You saw me use holders. There are many different kinds. There are holders that you know people have made that sit on top of uh, your mic stand. Uh, I'm just sitting here with it like so. But start playing around with a harmonica. It's really fun. Remember one thing. If you're going to play Neil or, or um, Bob Dylan or any of these uh, folk-ish artists, get the key of the harmonica in the key of the song. That's really important because these are only scales and they come in keys. So a C harmonica will not help you in the key of D or the key of A, okay? There are ways to bend notes. There are ways to play in different positions on harmonicas, but this is not the place for it. But if you're like playing folk, folk-ish music, Neil, Bob Dylan, that kind of stuff, uh, harmonica can really add a lot to your playing. Um, they're expensive, so pick a key. If you're going to play a lot of songs in G, great, get a G harmonica. If you're going to play a lot of songs in C, get a C harmonica. If you're playing a lot of songs in D, get a D harmonica. This is a Honer Blues Harp. I think they're wonderful. You can certainly get Lee Oscar. There are many other different... Um, companies that make harmonicas, but right, these are good. Seidel is fantastic, but they're going to they're be more expensive. 
So I just wanted to throw that out to you. Learn to play it. Just fool around with a the harmonica. They're great to throw in your pocket. And you can practice training your ear what notes sound like. It's really fun to do. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. I hope you enjoy uh, playing Helpless. It's just a fantastic song. Once you get it down, you're really going to like it. It's, it's one of these songs that will stay with you forever, and it has with me. And uh, so, Uncle Mark and the Mothership, thank you so much for everything you do for me. Uh, down below, I do have a PayPal link. It's a PayPal dot me forward slash uncle mark tips thank you so much for all your donations a buck a show is all we ask and uh, i do have a facebook page it's facebook cigar bx blue like cigar box blue but without the o so it's cigar bx blue and i told you i'd show you my settings so this i i'm a little bit different on these settings right now so i just wanted to show you there my tone is uh a little bit off it's not quite dimed i got a little more bass in there i thought it worked with the song i'm on the brit combo my gain is almost nothing and uh, i do have the effects going so you can see i have a tiny bit of chorus and uh, i've got some reverb so i just wanted to show you what those settings look like and get this guy out of the way there you go so you can really see what it looks like and uh, you can take a screenshot of that if that's what you want to do. But uh, So thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll have another lesson coming soon.